So as you can see, we found something pretty cool here at the coffee shop, Cafe Galileo. And it is an old fashioned thermometer. It's actually, I think, a Galileo thermometer. How ironic. And I, I know I used to have one and it's like the oils, the different oils inside are different weights. And so when they expand and like with heat and stuff like that, they rise and fall. And so like the one on the bottom or the top is like what the temperature is, 70, 72. It's about 70 degrees in here, which sounds about right. So obviously it works. I'm sure there was a lot of engineering that it went into that, maybe. There was, there was a lot of engineering. So. And it's National Engineering Week, so happy Engineering Week to all of our viewers. And we have some pretty cool information on that, so go check it out. Hi, I'm Jasmine Hillenbrand here with Mr. Campbell talking about Engineering Week. So, what is Engineering Week? Well, Engineering Week is a national uh, recognition of engineering as a field and as an accomplishment in the United States. All the great things that we do here that have been uh, innovated by engineers because engineers are innovators. They are the guys who improve products. They don't have the invention, the divine inspiration to say, oh, this is really needs to be done. They're the guys who say, this could really be better if we did this, where we added this. So that's what the engineers do. And where is this? Or is it just? This is national. It's, it's all throughout. It's being uh, promoted in all the schools. This has been uh, something that uh, President Obama, as well as the National Society of en Engineers and the government has been recognizing is that the United States has a shortfall of engineers coming into the job market. <clears throat> um, what's happening, what has happened over the last 20 to 30 years is the baby boomers who graduated during the Cold War and during the, uh, the 60s and went into engineering and, and built the roads from through the, the world wars and developed all of the <clears throat> appliances and the things that we've become accustomed to as part of everyday life, those people have all grown old and retired or are in, about to retire. Um, and what has happened is we don't have as many students going into engineering, so what the government has done is they've created National Engineering Week so that we can recognize it and hopefully stir up interest in students going forward and seeking engineering as a career. Okay, and what's the theme of this whole? Uh, it's just a recognition of all the great things that are being done. Uh, I think what you see is a lot of firms that employ engineers are sending them out to schools for talks. Uh, I know that there is a, a conference geared towards girls in March. Uh, on March 15th, the, the date for it has been extended. Uh, we have it here at the school. They can talk to the counselors or they can talk to me. Um, but it's just different careers in technology and engineering. See, it's not just engineering that they're trying to promote. What has happened with President Obama's uh, office is that they've been promoting careers in technology. Um, if you look, a lot of the funding is going to community colleges and into ways of retraining the American worker so that they're not a factory worker anymore, that they are a skilled worker. And you'll hear him talk about that all the time, about how we can increase the American worker's skill. And that can be through the use of machinery, that's through the use of computers in operating machines and programming machines to do work for people. Um, the manufacturing jobs now where you looked at it in movies and it was dirty and grimy and sweaty are among some of the most sanitary places that you can work right now. And they're very mechanized. They have robots that move things and, and change things. It's not done by grunt work. And you need skilled people who can operate that machinery to make it do the things more efficiently than two or three people can do. So that's what National Engineers Week is about. It's about teaching people about engineering and about technology so that we can become a more skilled workforce. 
So what type of things are happening during it? Like, in, are there any activities? Or um, I know that our, our administration has sent things up daily to the teachers to uh, inform students about. Um, I know they've combined it with Black History Month and they've been sending up information that can be shared in the social studies classes. I know about prominent black engineers and prominent minority engineers. Um, what we do in the, as a school, we have the Project Lead the Way Engineering Program of which I'm one of the teachers, myself and Mr. Chapin. Um, and what that is, is it's a, a, co it's a college readiness program. What we do is we prepare students for courses in engineering, give them a taste of what they would experience at the college level. All of the college co uh, course, or all of the courses that we offer in that Project Lead the Way program have college credits tied to them. And it's based on their course grade and then their final exam grade, as you well know. You were part of us for a couple of classes. Um, and what that does is it gives them a taste and what they can think, what they'll experience when they go to college if they want to take engineering or technology-based courses so that they're better prepared. Uh, the response for the students who have continued on with it in college has been phenomenal. They, they've all come back, the, at least the ones who've come back to talk to me, have all told me that they've been amazingly prepared their first year, that they're far ahead of the peers that they have that don't have that project lead the way, that it really does a great job of getting them ready to succeed at the college level, especially in that first year, which is crucial, mm -hmm. which when you go to college, if your grades start out bad, it's really hard to recover. But if you get that good foundation and you go into a class and you already have a great portion of background knowledge on it, it just becomes easy and, and your confidence level soars and it also allows you to spend a little more time on the areas in classes that you're not doing as well in. So it gives you a little extra study time. And then are there like a lot of students that take part in this? More girls than guys, more boys? Than At Project Lead the Way, we're, we're predominantly boys. Um, we have been increasing our girls' numbers, whereas we used to only have one or two girls. We now have uh, four or five girls in a class, so they're not just uh, lone <laughs> explorers out there. Um, there's been a, there's a, a recognition with engineering that women are grossly underrepresented mm -hmm. and there's been a lot of effort in trying to get girls in middle schools and in high schools more interested in it. They're doing well with design fields and they're also starting to make inroads in the computer fields but in areas that are more traditionally male dominated like aerospace or uh, civil engineering or mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, those still are dramatically underrepresented. Mm -hmm. And, and the, the thing that engineering is pushing for is diversity. It's not just women that they're pushing for, it's minorities. Where engineering is, gr is grossly underrepresented by minorities too. Uh, the minorities that work as engineers in this country a great number of them have been outsourced. They've been brought into this country from India or from Japan or from other Asian countries to come in because they place a high value on the mathematics and the science that's required. And we're bringing them into our country and we're not, we, we have the availability for people. The people that we work with, we have a business partner, which is Lockheed Martin, which is a big aerospace firm do a lot of government contracting. Mm -hmm. They have told us that they're experiencing, uh, they anticipate a great shortfall of engineers in the next five to 10 years because of that, just what I talked about earlier. The baby boomers who have been there for 30, 35, 40 years are now starting to retire. Mm -hmm. And they can't outsource their jobs because they're very sensitive government contracts and they require, um, actually American-born engineers working on the projects. They don't want foreign-born patriots working in on these projects, which are very mm -hmm. secret. Uh, so there are a lot of opportunities out there. Um, 
we've been doing our part. We, we're sending kids each year into schools and I've had a lot of my graduates report back that they're in their engineering and that they're, or in their in computer science or computer engineering and they're loving it and they're doing well. I think, I think what people don't really understand about engineering because there's no engineers TV shows. We've got a million police shows and a million lawyer shows, but what engineers do is they're problem solvers. Mm -hmm. Anybody who has a mind and likes to be challenged by a problem and figuring out ways to solve it should really explore engineering because that's what it is. You work with groups of people, you work in teams, you're not isolated. Mm -hmm. You are working with three, four, as many as 10 people and they can be spread out across the country and you all work on an element of that problem to solve it. And once you solve it, you then submit it with the rest of the group. Um, engineers are the ones who get patents. They're the ones who patent all the different uh, innovations of machines. Uh, engineers are the ones who developed your cell phones that <laughs> all the kids I can't get their faces out of. Uh, iPhones were developed by engineers. That started as a big bag phone. Look at a 1980s movie and see what a mobile phone looked like. And that iPhone all developed from that. And it was engineers who did that. And is there anything else you would like to add? Um, no, uh, j other than come and explore the Project Lead the Way program, uh, we, we have lots of openings. And it'll do a great thing for both your GPA and opening up your mind to how math and science are actually applied because we're a project and uh, practice-based curriculum. Everything is not tests. Uh, as you can speak to, Jasmine, it was all stepped and then we worked on a big project. We worked on activities and then we work on a project. We develop skills and then you get to employ the skills. So it's a fun course and you get to do some take homes. I bet you still have your puzzle cube done. I actually still have my uh, train. <laughs> that was so, fun. So, <laughs> all right. Uh, okay. Well, I'm Jasmine Hillenbrand. This is Mr. Campbell. And we were just talking about Engineering Week. Now, back to the Eagle's Eye.